All right, we are going to review exponents. So we're going to open to the next available page in the notebook, and we are going to write exponents on top. Okay, and the first rule that we learned was product of a power. Okay, so we've got product, and this can be of or to a power. Now, if you don't remember, product is a fancy word that just means multiplication. All right. I am going to switch colors because I like keeping my notes organized in terms of colors. You do not have to. I recommend it, though. Okay. So, for product of power, the definition is to keep the base... Okay, and then add the exponents. Now, this is the rule. It's not really the why. I'm just reviewing the rules right now. Okay, let's do an example. So, here we'll do another color. An example would be x cubed times x squared. All right, this right here, this right here is our base. Okay, and our instructions say to keep the base, so I'm just going to rewrite the x. Our instructions then say to add the exponent, so I'm going to do 3 plus 2. And that gives me x to the 5th, so that would be my answer. All right, let's try another one. 2x to the 4th times 2 to the 4th x. All right, here again, our bases are 2. 2 is one of my bases. And then we're going to do our 2s. So we'll do 2, 1, plus 4, because there's 1, 2, and then 4 2s. Then we've got our x. x is our second base. And then x, we have x to the 4th, and again, x to the 1st. You don't see an exponent there. It's just 1. All right, so our final answer is going to be 2 to the 5th x to the fifth. So we keep our base and add our exponents. Okay, we're going to do the next one. The next one is going to be quotient of a power. Okay, quotient again, if we don't remember, that is the answer to a division problem. So this is what you're going to do when you see division. I'm going to change colors again, just so it really sticks out. All right. Um, we are going to keep the base. And then we're going to subtract the exponents, which makes sense because when you multiply, you add. So when you divide, you're going to subtract because it's the opposite. So subtract the exponents. All right. Let's do an example of that. So, we have x to the 10th divided by x to the 5th. You're going to keep your base, which is x. You're going to subtract your exponents. That's going to give you x to the 5th. There you go. All right, let's try another one. We're going to try a complicated one. So, we're going to do 3ab. 3 squared. We'll do a squared. b to the 3rd. Over 3ab squared. So, our bases here are 3, A, and B. Those are our bases. 3, we've got 2 minus 1, because there's 2 on top, 1 on bottom. A, we've got 2 minus 1. And B, we've got 3 minus 2. Okay, this is going to give us 3 to the first, A to the first, B to the first. So, this is our final answer. So, all we did was we kept our bases and we subtracted our exponents. Okay, let's do the next one. The next one is going to be power of a power. Wow, it's not clearing, is it? Power of a power is going to be multiply. Let's see if I'll just, I'll just get a new page. There we go. Okay, so power of a power.
you're going to keep the base again. Oh no, I forgot to switch colors. Hold on. I'm gonna switch colors. Make sure we stay consistent. Okay. Keep the base. And we're going to multiply the exponents. Okay, so what this looks like is you're going to have like 5 to the 3rd in parentheses, and then you'll have to the 4th on the outside. So what that means is a power to a power, you multiply. Okay, so that would be 5, 3 times 4, 3 times 4 is 12. Let's try another one. We'll do 5 to the 3rd, A to the 6th, and we'll do this all to the 2nd power. So we keep our base. Our base is 5 and A. We're going to multiply our exponents, and so we're going to get 5 to the 6th, a to the 12th. So you keep the base, multiply your exponents. Okay, our next one is going to be power of a product. Actually, we just went over power of product because if you remember, Power of a product is going to be when you take the power when you're multiplying. And that is actually what we just did. So, you're not going to go over that. My apologies. Next thing we're going to go over is the zero exponent. Okay, the zero exponent rule is anything, any number with a zero exponent. Um, equals 1. Now that literally means anything. So, it doesn't matter if it's 2a, b to the 20th, c to the 3rd, to the 0. Alright? The property we just took, talked about is power of power. So that would mean we would take the 0 and we'd multiply it times everything on the inside. So we'd end up with 2 to the 0, a to the 0, 20 times 0 is 0, and c to the 0. So that would be 1. Or if it's just 4 to the 0, that would be 1. Anything, it doesn't matter what it is, if it is to the 0 power, it is 1. Okay, our last one we're going to talk about is negative exponents. Alright, this one's a little tricky because there's more than one step. So, the first thing you're going to do is make sure your number is written as a fraction. So number one, change to a fraction. Okay, number two, you're going to move the negative exponent power. So we're just going to write negative power to the bottom if it's on top. Or you're going to move the negative power to the top if it's on bottom. All right, so for example, if I have 4 to the negative 2, first I'm going to change it to a fraction. So that would be 4 over 1, okay? Because any whole number can be just written over 1 because 4 divided by 1 is 4. Now it says move the negative power to the bottom if it's on top. So I'm going to move it to the bottom and that makes it positive. Okay, so now we have a positive exponent and that is our goal. Okay, so this is our answer. You're going to use this rule whenever it says, um, let's see if we can clear this off. So you're going to use the rule whenever it says write without a negative exponent. So whenever the directions, I guess I should say, say write without a negative exponent or sometimes they might say integer. 
So you're looking for that specific phrase. If it just says to simplify, you can just leave it how it is. All right, let's do another example. So if we have 2 over 2 to the 4th, our quotient rule says that we're going to subtract our exponents. That will give us 2 to the negative 3rd. We're going to put that over 1, make it a fraction, and then this guy flips down. So we're going to have 1, 2 to the 3rd. Okay, we're going to try a really complicated problem. We're going to do 3 squared a to the 3rd times 3 a b all over 3 cubed a to the 4th. All right, so the first thing here is we're going to get rid of our top. We're going to simplify this guy. Okay, so we're multiplying, and our multiplication rule says add our exponents. So we're going to do 3, 2 plus 1. Let's see if we can make that look like plus 10. All right, then a, 3 plus 1. Then we don't have a b over here, so we're just going to copy that. That's going to give us 3 to the 3rd, a to the 4th on bottom. Okay, so 2 plus 1 is 3. 3 plus 1 is 4. We've still got that b and this guy on bottom. All right, now quotient of a power means to subtract. So we're going to do 3 minus 3, 4 minus 4, and then that b is still going to hang out. So 3 minus 3 is 0, 4 minus 4 is 0, and then b. Remember, our other rule said anything to the 0 power is 1, so we're left with just b. All right, this is a really complicated problem, but this is one that you'll see on your test. Okay? If you have any questions, make sure you ask or stay after for tutoring.